Did you know that there are programs from Windows 95, which came out 28 years ago, that are still included with Windows 11? Let's have a look at some of the more surprising ones, starting with Phone Dialer. This does exactly what it says it will, dial a phone number for you. It appears to be mostly unchanged since the Windows 95 days, right down to that very old school pixelated logo that appears in the taskbar when you open it. If you wanna see it for yourself, open up the run dialog and then punch in dialer. You'll get a simple interface with a space to enter the number you wanna call, a keypad if you'd rather just click the digits one at a time for some masochistic reason, and eight programmable speed dial slots, just like the landline phones of yesteryear. Of course, you'll need an actual phone modem in order for this functionality to work, but the good news is that these are still available for the retro computing enthusiast. We all know one. Let's move on and talk about the character map. This one is still accessible under Windows Tools in the Start menu and probably still has more practical usage than the old phone dialer. The character map actually goes back all the way to the days of Windows 3.1 and serves the same purpose now as it did then. It displays all characters included in a particular font and makes it easy to copy the one that you need to the clipboard. So if you need the trademark symbol or one of the Greek letters to advertise your next sorority event, or that sharp S that looks like the letter B because you're typing something in German because you're really mad, <laughs> you could find it on the character map, along with special alt codes for some characters that allow you to type them in directly from the keyboard. Google's ability to quickly bring up a special character has made the character map less relevant but it's still quite useful if you know what you're looking for or if your internet connection is down. But there's another app that Google has also made a bit less relevant and we'll tell you what it is right after we thank Delete Me. Here's an issue, your personal info is floating around online without your say so. Totally not cool, right? Well, Delete Me thinks it's downright wrong. No one wants scammers blowing up their phone with robot calls and sketchy emails and Delete Me is here to save the day. Manually removing all your accounts from the web is tedious, but Delete Me software and expert squad can wipe that out in a jiffy. On average, they're scraping over 2,000 pieces of data for customers in their first two years. That's some serious cleanup. So if you're tired of your personal info playing hide and seek online, go to joindeleteme.com slash techwiki and use code techwiki for a sweet 20% off. WordPad, which has also been around since Windows 95, has been a mainstay because for a long time, it was hard to imagine an operating system shipping without a word processor. In fact, it replaced an older program called Microsoft Write that first appeared in Windows 1.0. Microsoft has actually done a reasonable enough job keeping up with the program. The modern version resembles a simpler version of Microsoft Word down to the newish ribbon UI. WordPad has more features than Windows' other built-in text editor, Notepad, which made it very useful for folks that didn't wanna shell out money for a standalone word processor. But these days, free alternatives like Google Docs offer features that WordPad doesn't, such as spell check and collaborative tools like comments. Perhaps this is why Microsoft decided in late 2023 that it would no longer be included with new, clean installations of Windows 11, especially considering that a flaw in WordPad was targeted recently by malware. But of course, the more cynical take is that they'd rather not give a rich text editor away for free when they can try and push people toward Microsoft 365 subscriptions. Perpetual money. And here's one more that you might actually still be using regularly if you have a mechanical hard drive. Disk Defragmenter. You can learn more about defragmentation in this video, but the gist of it is that it'll take any files that have become fragmented and put them into one continuous space on your disk, speeding up file access. This is a big deal for mechanical drives as file fragmentation can really hurt performance, but defragging SSDs can wear them out prematurely because SSDs aren't mechanical. There isn't a downside of a file being broken up into non-continuous chunks. So instead, modern Windows versions give you options for optimizing your SSD by running the trim command, which prepares blocks to have new data written to them. Since Windows is supposed to do this automatically every so often, you might not ever touch the disk defragmenter slash drive optimizer program anymore, which means there's a good chance you've hurt its feelings and it never forgets. But there are other old school Windows features that are still around. So let us know if you're interested in a part two of this trip down memory lane. Thanks for watching guys. If you liked this video, hit like, hit subscribe, and maybe hit up that video about storage and the defragmentation in Gliven. It's a good one.